Hello, George F551 here, and we got an unboxing video, and I'm sure you know what it is from the title of the video anyway. But for those of you with short attention spans, or you're watching this full screen, or both, here we go. Here's the box. You might also notice from the top that it's already been opened. That's because at work, we have shipping department, and if anything was not right, or at least appeared so at the very beginning, we had the facilities to send it back. Plus, my boss, I'm telling him what I was getting, and he was actually kind of interested to see it anyway. So, I put everything back in here exactly the way it was. I barely disturbed anything in here, so it was very easy to do. So let's kinda open the box and see what we got here. Unfortunately, I can't really change the angle too much. So we'll just do that. Here we go. Imagine I'm cutting the tape here. I blocked out the address, not because it's mine, it's the company address. I just don't need any issues with them. Alright, so the first thing we see, and we didn't actually take apart, so here's something we get to see taken apart on camera. From Bowler Superior Inventory. Ooh, it's a single bag. Okay, well, funny thing is this was offered up as something I could get for what I have and for the quantity, which technically still works. This is a bowling bag. It was, it was deemed a candle pin bowling bag, but apparently they it's a one-size-fits-all. I believe here you put your shoes if you have any. Is any of this, whoops, sorry that I kicked the thing. Is any of this on video is going to ask and the answer is yes. And let's just tip this up slightly. There we go. There we got a little pocket here. Very tough nylon grip there. This is a brand new bag, so obviously it's going to be a little tough to get in and out of. And, okay, this is the shoe compartment right up here. If you can see that, I... It's very hard to see because, let's turn this guy on. Not that it's gonna help a whole lot. Yeah, it helps. It's deep enough for a pair of bowling shoes. That's something I'm contemplating on. I wanted to get the meat and potatoes first, which would be, of course, the, what I'm about to show you besides this. All right, backside. There's a big zipper going across. It's here on the very sides here. Opens up from there. Yeah, this was labeled as a candle pin ball, but apparently, a candle pin bag, but apparently it's actually made, as you can see by that foam in the bottom. It's actually made for a regular regular bowling ball for what we call regular bowling here in New England, the 10 pin. Still, it'll still work. All right, we get that. 
I got this miscellaneous. Okay, there it is. It's wondering where it clips on. Apparently, it wasn't fully attached. All right, bag. I'll just set that aside for a moment. All right, back down we go. Slightly. What do we have after that? Besides, crumpled up newspaper. I'm gonna just throw it to the side. Foam cushion. Oh, I bet. I bet I know what this foam cushion is for. We'll get to that in a moment. And here's the main box that we care about, which now we can remove this and come down here. Colors aren't exactly what I was thinking they'd be. Okay, you know what? I was thinking, what's this for? What's the point? Because this was on top of this. I think it's an insert for the bag, which you can barely see. All right, let's let's just get to what we're trying to show you here. I've already taken one of these apart so my boss could see it. Here it is, an Epco Urethane Proline Candle Pin Bowling Ball, times four, ooh, and my nasty, my nasty fingers that get all diced up with sharp stuff. Doesn't that look nice? Won't these look great going down the gutter when I throw them? Yeah, these got nice and grippy. These will grip the lanes well, so I'm sure I'm going to have a learning curve and lower scores for a little bit. Maybe not. Who knows? I could also have got this with a, with a grit, but later I found that not a good idea because if there's any spin on the ball, it's going to hook just that much more, and that's something I definitely don't need. So we got four of these suckers right here. Now, what I was getting to and kind of eluded and will... This bag is so stiff right now because it's new. Is... Yep, that's exactly what this thing is. This was nothing more than an insert, and this goes into the bottom of the bag. If it wants to, let me move this aside here so you can at least see something. If it wants to cooperate, it's so new and stiff. I think it's in. Yeah, it's definitely in. There we go. We were wondering at work what the heck this thing was for. It looked like they were just being dumb with uh, packing, but no, that it's a replacement insert to make this bag a candle pin slash duck pin bag. There we got that. Okay. Whoops, and I hit the camera again. All right, so we got four of these guys. Let's just. Put one here if it wants to stay, which of course we know it won't. It just wants to roll downhill. All right, it doesn't want to stay. So let's get rid of stuff here. Put it back in the box because it just wants to roll, roll away. All right, your care instructions for these candle pin balls, 
carrying your new balls and of course it tells you warm water and all that stuff does it and then they have their pretty much their self promotional stuff there buy this cleaner specifically for duck candle and five pin balls and we got repair and refinishing if that will be needed sometime in the future so that's not going to go away anytime soon let's open up another one hey this one almost looks similar but here we go it looks very similar. There's a slight difference in the pattern. Yo. Yeah, these will look great going down the gutter. Also, what I paid for and they refunded me was they allowed me to engrave up to 10 characters anything I wanted to put on these balls. I wanted to put my channel name, GeorgeF551, which is 10 characters. However, they couldn't do it probably because the letters and numbers were too wide and didn't fit in the window so yeah the piece little piece that I wanted on there to personalize these is not there but I'm sure I could send these off and have something else etched in at some point if I wanted so there we go we got four of these bowling balls as you can see here one two three and four And of course, the big thing in the way that we gotta move the new bag, which I didn't realize came with an insert. Wow, those those sit really, really well in there. In fact, while we're at it, and it's easy enough to do, let's fill them up, why don't we? Alright. Yeah, easy enough. Then when it's time to do it on camera, they don't want to come out of the packaging. Isn't that how it always works? There was no dry run in this either. Yeah, there's marks and nicks for, uh, you know, when they were trying to do all that kind of nice stuff and it didn't work. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. That was the unboxing of these uh, new candle pin bowling balls and the candle pin bowling bag. Nice stuff here. I am sure these are indeed candle pin. The duck pin is slightly larger. I did. I made sure that everything I picked fell in line. Now, unlike regular bowling, there is a very tiny difference in weight with candle pin bowling balls. For example, the regular bowling balls, depending on who you listen to, go from 6 to 16 or 8 to 16 pounds. These go from 2 pounds, 4 ounces, which you don't want to use because they weigh less than a pin, so you're relying on pinfall for everything. Or these guys, the heavy-duty 2-pound 7 ounces, which sounds like very little difference, but when you're knocking down candle pins, it makes a difference in the ball, keeping a little more of its trajectory. Not by much. So here we go. Here we are, pro-grade. Beautiful balls. Wish I could have got my channel engraved on them, but couldn't. Might think of something down the line when I don't need them for a while and have them sent out and engra engraved. And there you have it. George F551 saying, hope you enjoyed. I rigged that up for a strike. And even then, I can't make a strike. And have a good one.